No doubt about the Thistle hero last week, new boy Andy Lyons. His two goals helped beat Falkirk, and at Tynecastle he picked up where he left off at Brockville. There he is, his third goal for the club, a stylish finish, and Thistle won up. Hearts came right back into this game. 18 minutes later, the Thistle defence struggled with the high ball in the box. Greg Watson doesn't mop up. In step Johnson, and that's one each. And then Hearts got themselves into gear. The capital side could have been ahead just a minute after that goal. Johnson, the creator this time. That ball missed by Slavin, and Alan Lawrence is through on Walker. The goalkeeper did well to stop the striker in his tracks. If you thought that was close, you ain't seen nothing yet. John Cahoon provides a cross. Robertson just can't get there. And look at that clearance from Tom Smith off his own post. Perhaps that was a turning point because Thistle went up the park. In step Tommy Turner and it was 2-1 the Jacks at half time. Murder McLeod's men dragging hearts past the point of no return now. Callum Milne with it at the edge of the box and Billy McDonald leans over to deflect the ball home. 3-1 Thistle and Rousset can't believe it. And if the big Frenchman was angry there, how must he have felt a minute later? Pasquale Bruno starting a defensive pantomime, allowing Derek McWilliams pass. Rousset tries to help but he's out of position. Ian Cameron moves in, he sets up Lions, 4-1, Thistle in dreamland. Then just look at this for a miss, Hans Eskelson failing to connect with the ball with Walker's goal at his mercy. Not Hart's day to say the least. The Jags finish the route in real style, playing with bags of confidence. Cameron with a tremendous lob. Remember, Rousset is 6 foot 5, so that's 5-1 Thistle, and the Jambos go home. But maybe they left too soon. Hearts kept at it. Eskelson scrambled one over the line. But 5-2 Thistle. What a day for Murder McLeod's men. And a great performance from Ian Cameron.